everyone, welcome back. So I'm gonna be doing this hair tutorial for you today. We have got these fabulous space buns using all my natural hair and I've also done this little diamante edge. So proud to say that this video is sponsored by Bedhead by TG. And without further ado, let's get started. Step one is going to be to part our hair right down the center and then split it right down the back. And then I'm just gonna use a bobble to secure this bit of hair out the way. When you wanna do that real sleek hair, I feel like the biggest mistake people make is by applying product just to this top section here and then scraping it all back. What you want to do is split the hair into sections and apply product to each section so that all of the hair is gonna be completely flattened out. The first product I'm using is the Bedhead Queen for a Day. This is a thickening spray. It's wonderful for fine hair like myself to give it a load of volume, but it's also very good on like thicker hair for like curly blows and really getting those curls to stick. I always use this before curling my hair. Usually you spray this on wet hair, but today we're gonna be using it on dry hair. And then I'm gonna spray it to the root area and then I am combing that section down. Spray this to the root and then flatten down. Work through your hair in horizontal sections, spraying and then combing back. The reason why this product is so good for things like curling is because it has a stickiness to it um so it really just helps to give your hair like grip and we're kind of playing into that today and for this slick look it's really important because it's sticking the hair down kind of imagine it like a wet hairspray that is the kind of texture we're playing with when we apply it on dry hair i'm clipping this top section up and i'm just doing exactly the same To the back, apart from this time, I'm brushing all the hair upwards. This is really going to help um, all of those really short hairs that you have around your neckline to really make sure that they're stuck upwards, especially with my hair being a bob. Um, it just means that I shouldn't have to put many clips underneath, which can kind of ruin the hairstyle and make it look a little bit, a little bit ugly. So you want to make sure you thoroughly go over through the back with this product and be quite generous as well. Now that the hair is fully saturated, I'm just brushing all of the hair flat. I'm just smoothing over all of that hair and keeping my hand nice and tight. And then we are going to apply a bobble. I'm going to repeat this process on the other side. One of the other reasons why I like this product for slick looks is when it dries, it doesn't go flaky or have like a white cast, you know, like some gels or waxes do. Um, it's a very like clean, transparent product. Now I'm using the Manipulator Texturizing Putty. This has a really nice finish to it. You can kind of see the texture there. And it also smells amazing. All Bedhead products, by the way, smell. <laughs> incredible if you didn't already know that i'm using an edges comb just to pull out all of the little tiny short bits of hair especially like where my hairline goes back i like to i like to cover that i'm coating my comb in that product and then i'm just gonna run it through all of these hairs make sure you go right from the root right through to the ends it doesn't dry straight away so you have plenty of time to really get these into position make sure to comb any unwanted bits back i topped up my hairline with a little bit of pink makeup with my hair being so bleached i get um makeup <laughs> that stains around the edges um so i just literally colored them in with a little bit of makeup taking this section of hair and just back combing the entire thing so any like little straight bit that you see just back comb and when you back comb you're essentially just running the comb up the hair shaft that's all it is and we're creating a big big 
candy floss looking ball. I'm just taking this by the ends and wrapping it around and then securing it with some slidey clips. Time to add the gems. I'm using the manipulator on a little makeup brush and I'm just pasting this over the entire area. Just painting this on to act like a glue. And then the gems will just stick on. Keep going and add as many gems as you like. As you can see, the putty dries completely clear, so don't be afraid to really whack a good amount on. It also doesn't make your hair like crusty or anything like that, gross. Okay, here is the look all complete for you guys to see. I absolutely love this look and considering I don't have much hair at all and it's short to be able to get this volume in my buns is amazing. The best thing of all is all of the products I have shown are available in Asda and they are all under £10 as well, which is amazing. Also available is the Bed Head Cereal Blonde Shampoo and Conditioner. You can probably tell my hair is very heavily bleached, so having a good shampoo and conditioner has always been very important to me. They have these sport cap lids, which are super quick and easy to use. I mean, look at the size of these. They're literally like the size of my head. Um, and they're only £6 each and these are available in Asda which makes it so easy to get hold of because I can just pop down, do my shopping and grab some of these and they smell, listen if you're not familiar with Bedhead <laughs> and you have not smelt their products anyone who knows Bedhead says that their products smell absolutely insane so yeah, this is the shampoo and conditioner I use it's basically designed for anyone who has dried hair maybe you have like a bit of balayage, a bit of bleach anything at all um, any type of chemical treatment like that on your hair I would highly recommend these thank you so much for watching and thank you to Bedhead for sponsoring this video any questions you have please leave them in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video bye